that makru also trains us, avoiding the makru also trains us in self-control, to avoid the things which are haram. Just as the mustahab trains us in doing good things which makes doing the compulsory easier, avoiding the makru helps us to deal with the haram. Now, as a sign to us regarding the makru, we have an incident from the Prophet's life in which he said on one occasion when he saw an individual lying on the ground by the name of Ya'ish ibn Tikhfa. He saw him lying on the ground on his stomach. So he came and he nudged him with his foot. When he woke up and he looked at the Prophet, he told him, This is the method of lying which God hates. God hates that you lie on your stomach, sleeping on your stomach. Sleeping on the stomach was disliked. Now, of course, people commonly, they like to sleep on the stomach. And I know this is one of the etiquettes of sleeping in Islam. And I remember on one occasion when I was in Panama, uh, teaching a course there and in etiquettes, Islamic etiquettes, and I spoke on this. Afterwards, people asked me, why? Why is it this light to sleep on your stomach? And I really didn't have an answer. I mean, I had been told some things when I was on Jamaat Tabligh, because I did ask the question myself. But the answer they gave me wasn't satisfactory. They said, you know, if you're on Jamaat, you're by yourself. You sleep on your stomach. The likelihood of you getting a wet dream is greater. That's why. But hey, what about women? It's not the same situation. You know. and what about if your wife was there with you? So I, I wasn't satisfied with that explanation. Anyway, I just told him, hey, Prophet Muhammad Sallam said, God hates it, he dislikes it, better you don't do it. From there I was flying to Guyana to do a course in Guyana also. Whilst I was on the airplane, I was reading the Time magazine. And this Time Magazine issue was dedicated to the latest developments in spinal surgery. They were showing the latest medical uh, hardware and how it dealt with the problems of slip discs and crushed discs and the different operations they were doing and they showed pictures of people's back cut open and you know. And at the end of it all, they had a list of doctor's recommendations to avoid spinal problems. Number one on the list was don't sleep on your stomach. That was number one. I said, MashaAllah, Allahu Akbar. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. And they went on to explain. They gave a whole explanation about it. Yes, the spine, heavy, bony structure, heaviest one in your whole body. When you sleep on your stomach, everything in front of it is soft tissue, soft organs. Your, your intestines, your stomach, your lungs, all of this is soft. So what happens is that this, the spine sags downwards. And this is what contributes to the exaggerated, what they call lumbar curvature of the spine. You old people, they're walking around, their backs are like, this is from this. They pointed it out. Furthermore, I said, Alhamdulillah, mashallah, that was something. Yeah. Then, uh, that was like 1981 when I came across that. And Alhamdulillah, from then on, I used to mention it in lectures and so on. So people could see, you know, this is benefit there. Something that you can't imagine. 1,400 years ago, Muslims, when the Prophet ﷺ said, don't do it because it's hated by Allah, they stopped doing it. Though they used to like to sleep on the stomach just as we do. 
and over these 1,400 years they benefited. All the people who didn't do it were harmed in one way or another. So I said, mashallah, and that's how we should approach the things which Allah has prohibited and disliked. That it's better not to do it. Stay away from it because there's harm in it. Even if we can't see where the harm is. Anyway, in 1989, I read an article which appeared in the British newspapers that scientists, medical scientists, studying a particular illness which seemed to be affecting small children, one-year-old, two-year-old, three-year-old kids, put to sleep in their cribs, they die in their sleep. They call it crib death or sudden death syndrome, SDS, there are different names they give to it. But they don't, didn't know why, what was causing this thing. So medical researchers did some uh, statistical studies. They sent out researchers to people whose children had died and they gathered up information about what the circumstances of the home was what type of beds they put them in, what was the temperature of the rooms, all kinds of information. Anything they could think of that was related to the circumstance in which the child went to sleep that might possibly have a common factor which would then be the danger factor. When they fed this stuff into computers, correlated the results, up popped what? children being put to sleep on their stomachs. So they made a major announcement across England, front page news, doctors warn parents do not put your children to sleep on their stomachs. And the warning came over here too into, into the United States. I mean, it was British researchers so there it was every newspaper across Britain carried it. That was 1989. In America, some newspapers carried it. It was right across the country. Anyway, the point is that seven years later, in 1996, the researchers, after making this a standard part of, um, uh, you could say, the information given to people who just had children, this kind of stuff, hospital information, advising parents, don't put your children to sleep on the stomach, and this, world, this countrywide campaign to make this known, they found that after seven years, the rate of cot death had dropped by some 68 or something like this percent. It had dropped drastically. So, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, here is further evidence that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam 1,400 years ago when nobody had any idea of what harm there was, obviously, this was... How did the Prophet know that God hated this? Do you think he just looked at the person and said, I think God hates this. Uh, let me tell him God hates this. No. Obviously, Angel Gabriel came and told him, when he saw the man lying there, he told him that God, Allah hates lying on the stomach. So he passed on that revelation that came to him. And that's how we have to treat the instructions from Prophet Muhammad There is benefit in following them.